Hello all, Jamie Rogers here today for Craft Mania, and today I'm bringing you my brand new November handpicked by Bundle. Now if you've not seen these before, what this actually is, is it's my excuse to bring products that I really love to you at an incredible value bundle price. Now on top of that, not only are we going to give you incredible savings, we're also going to share with you 10 cards that I have already created to give you some inspiration on how you can take this bundle and what you can create with it. On top of that, the Craft Mania DT team will also share creations every Wednesday and Saturday on the Craft Mania blog to give you even more ideas of what you could create with this all the way through November. And then you can go online, even if it's months after you've got your kit, look at those blog posts, be inspired, and hopefully watch this video back as well. Now this month we do have a bit of a twist for you as well. Not only do we have an incredible bundle, we also have a competition that we're launching. Now what I'd like you to do once you've got your bundle, and this will be open all the way to the end of November, is I'd like you to share as many cards as you can on our Facebook group, which is Create with Craft Mania and Jamie Rogers. It's a closed group, so you'll have to ask permission to come into it. But come into there, share with us the creations you've made with this bundle. Use the hashtag November on your actual write-up so that we can find them easy and we know that you want to enter the competition. And one person will win next month's kit absolutely free of charge, including PMP to anywhere in the world. It's just our way of encouraging you to share with us what you have created. I'll remind you of this later on in the video, but we would genuinely love to see what you create. Now today's bundle, it's not our hugest saving yet. We did break this last month, but it's a jolly good saving, all of that said beside. This one is worth £67.73p and it is yours for just £30. That also includes UK free PMP. If you do live internationally and you'd like to receive the kit, then check out the website to see how international shipping works. But within the UK, your PMP is covered. You will have this sent to your door for just £30. Now, should we have a little look at what's in this month's kit, shall we? So first of all, we have got our striplet die by Sue Wilson. This is the Ornate Octagon. Now this is a really cool die because it actually has two different parts to it and I'll show you this with one of the dies shortly. It has an outside cutting blade and it has its insert panel. Now what that means is that the insert panel can actually be left inside your cardstock. So if you would like to create an aperture or maybe you would like to multi-cut that to create like a filigree background, you can absolutely do that. It also means because you've got that separate frame edge that if you would like to cut a plate to go behind it, maybe you'd like to back it with a self-adhesive sheet and put through some gilding flakes or some glitters or anything like that, or just a colour or pattern of card, you've got that die there ready to put behind it and create that effect. And that's the first element in your bundle. Now don't forget this bundle is only £30. And this die, if I remember rightly, is £14.50 on its own as a recommended retail price. So quite quickly, you're going to see how we've got to your value of £67.73p. Moving on, now this is another Sue Wilson die that we were included in this month's bundle. This is the Herringbone Background. I love this. I'm going to be using this in the demo that I'm going to do on the uh, video today. This on its own, if I remember rightly, and please don't quote me on this, but I think the recommended retail price for this one was something quite like... $17.99? I'm pretty sure that's right. $17.99. So again, when we're looking at your value, lots to be saved by getting this bundle already. I think with just these two components, you're already making a saving at your £30 bundle. Now with this die, what we have this time is this will actually stay in your cardstock. So again, if you want to marry it up and recut it multiple times, you can do. If you'd like to trim it out, that's absolutely fine to do as well. If you'd like to put it on the inside of a nesting die and cut it away, you can do that too. So lots and lots of different ways in which you're going to be able to use this. I really like the fact if you cut it in black, it looks a bit like tire tracks. So again, maybe you're doing men's cards or you'd like a more masculine feel. That's going to work. If we cut it in white, it looks like a really nice lattice for you to put flowers up. And I'll show you that on some of my cards. Because of the herringbone goes in both directions, we can also sort of double stack it in opposite directions. And that looks really good too. And I'll be demoing that for you as well. 
On to our next die. So another Sue Wilson die. I know, £30 and you've got three Sue Wilson dies. The value really does just keep going. This time is the birthday party frame. Now in here we have three different dies. We have the outside frame. We then have the actual frame with the balloons and the presents and the cakes on. And then we have a separate die for the birthday wording. So actually up here on the bunting, we've got happy debossed into the actual die cut. And then you've got your birthday as a separate item. These are easily covered if you'd like to put a different item in the middle. Maybe you'd like to put a photo, for instance, or your own little sentiment stamp or a different die cut. And then the birthday can, of course, be used with many other stamps and dies to create different sentiments or just be repetitively cut to make up a really nice birthday background. The actual backing plate itself also means that if you would like to put it onto a background, you can cut a backing plate to separate your filigree die from the background so it doesn't get lost in the patterns, which again is something we're going to be doing on today's demo for you as well. Then moving on, our next item we have here, this is our woodware stamp, and this one is designed by Francois Reed. This is our Paris background die, um, stamp set. Now with this, it's all one stamp, but of course you could use it in separate pieces. You could go in and trim bits out. Maybe you've got an 18 or a 21 or a new home card, and you'd just like to trim around the key, you could absolutely do that. If you would like to just pick out the butterfly and cut that element out, you could do that. Or if you wanted to, you could just focus in on the word Paris, or you could just use the small side of it. It's one of them stamps that as you've got it in that large format, it's great to use. It's going to make very quick, simple cards, but equally if you want to break it down and use it in smaller ways, absolutely fine to do so. If you would like to repeatedly stamp this to create big backgrounds, again, that's something that would work very nicely for you. So lots and lots of freedom to create with that one as well. Then in our bundle, we have got a piece of mesh. Now, I'll be honest with you, this was added very last minute to bring the value of your kit even higher. So I didn't actually get a chance to play with this, but it is brilliant, and I'll tell you why. It comes as a piece of mesh, as you can see it, uh, but if you'd like to start cutting into this, maybe you'd like to use it in a frame, and you want to cut out some pictures um, to go in, in the inside of it, maybe. Let's go for that sort of area there. You can very quickly, let me get my scissors through here. I've bought the, the weakest scissors you can imagine to do this with. That weren't thought out, was it? But very quickly, we can go in and we can start cutting out areas to make little photo frames or borders for our cards. Or, even better than that, we can use these as individual gems. And that's going to work perfectly for you as well. So when you look at how many gems you get on here, you've got quite a lot of value for money. So there's just a very quick frame for you. As you can see, very easy to do. You could sink your photos into there, your journaling into there. If you prefer to cut them as strips, maybe you want to frame round something individually yourself and you'd like to start using these as individual strips, that's very easily achievable as well. Or maybe you'd like to take these off and use them as completely separate gems. Again, you can do that and then they make the most beautiful little centres to go in your flowers. So lots you can do with this. If you stick it onto a self-adhesive sheet and then put a different type of glitter or a different colour of glitter through all the gaps, that works really well as well. Or like you can see on my nice black desk here, just putting a different colour under it works really well as well. So it's not self-adhesive in any format, so it's down to you how you wish to glue it on. Maybe you'd like to wrap it around a candle as a decoration, or maybe you'd like it in your scrapbooks or home decor or Christmas decorations. So many ways you can play with this. And one of the things I would also highlight with this is if you look on our website, you will find this mesh not only in this sort of rhinestone style, but also in a pearl finish as well. And there's lots and lots of colours of these for you to have a little look at. So it's a really good product really good fun very good value for money when you start looking at them as individual gems as well then on top of that so let's put in a one i haven't yet cut up let's put in the one over there so you see it in the full use then to top off your bundle we have got this amazing paper pad now this is a paper tree paper pad in here we've got 48 sheets and as you can see just the most incredible patterns and this is what i'd like to think you get with a hand-picked buy i looked at this and first of all i thought of expensive wallpaper i thought of paris i thought of all them lovely textures then finishes then stately homes that really lovely shabby chic feel this is going to go perfectly with your Paris background. But equally, you might be looking at this and thinking, well, actually, there's some really nice tones in there for men's cards. There's Because also, not only do you have these patterns, we'll give you a better flip through in a second, but within all the patterns, let's do it this way. So within the, in your patterns, not only do you get the patterns, 
you also get the playing card stock. So maybe you're thinking men's cards. Maybe you're thinking you're going to bring in some of those backgrounds that we've been looking at, like that lovely herringbone, and cut that out and put it on the top here. Maybe you're also then thinking, well, actually, I need to make a, a card for dad or my husband or anybody like that. And this birthday frame is very unisex. So that could come in perfectly and go on here again with these same colours. And maybe you do want to put a stripe behind it. Maybe you do want to bring in a pattern. It's not overly floral. It's just very heritage. That's going to work well for you as well. And talking of all of these patterns, talking of that heritage, talking of that luxury, how about we go ahead and we bring in that panel that we was looking at? Again, trying to get everything to coordinate for you. If you start looking at this lovely striplet, your ornate octagon, and you put that over the top of the backing paper, okay, you might want to break it up with one of the plain colours in the middle, but it's going to give you a really expensive, luxurious look very easily. So within your paper pad, there's too many to stop at each page, to be quite honest with you. But you have got all of these different colours. You've got these different designs. You've got these different shades. You know, if we look at it like this, look at all of them different shades coming through here that you're going to have that tone-on-tone -tone effect with. And it's all white. All the printing's done in white. So when you come to putting these onto your card blanks, that white card blank isn't going to stand out. It's going to match in perfectly. If you want to do your mats and your layers or your die cutting in white, when we are looking at the, the pieces like these frames, that's going to work really well for you as well. So your paper pad, 48 sheets, is an 8x8 eight eight size. So again, if you're into scrapbooking and you'd like to use it for your pages, or you're into journaling, you could absolutely do that as well. And that completes your hand-picked by Jamie, me, uh, bundle for November. As I say, it's a value of £67.73p, and it's yours for just £30. So a huge saving, £37.73p is what you've saved. So huge, huge, huge saving to begin with. Don't forget you're going to get your free UK PMP with that. Um, but again, we can send it to you internationally if you'd like to. Now, truthfully, 100% honesty with you, month on month, <laughs> We're struggling to keep hold of these and we're struggling to get enough stock to bring them to you. The month before last, we sold out quite early on. I think even the month before that may be the same again. You can see because you can go onto our website, click the hand picked by um, tab at the top and you'll see which bundles we have left in stock. Last month is in October. That was crazy. We sold the most bundles we have ever sold and we struggled all month to keep them in stock we got to the point we literally i swear to you this is the truth we ran out the suppliers products they physically had no more to give us so we had to stop producing the bundles if that happens again this month which don't forget we're on the run up to christmas now this is a good time to get a christmas present ordered so maybe you want to share this with your loved ones tell them that this is what you would like for christmas I have a feeling this one's going to do very well. We've particularly chose a design scheme that we feel will give you lots of options to play with next year. And of course, it could wait happily for you under the tree once Father Christmas has delivered it. So maybe you would like to get this for Christmas and start with it. We think this month is going to be very busy. And again, when you look at your value and you think of your savings, which are 37 73 you're saving more than you're spending. We have a feeling this one's going to go very, very quickly. But to give you some ideas, let's show you what you can create with it, shall we? Because it's one thing seeing the bundle, it's another thing actually seeing what we can create. So I wanted to keep these quite simple. I had one day to do these, so I have to make, or I like to make, I don't have to, no one's going to tell me off, but I like to make 10 cards to give you at least 10 ideas. And then I know that depending on the month, obviously, you're going to get at least another eight ideas from our lovely design team. So you're going to get at least 18 projects to sort of mull over in your mind and take inspiration from. But I only had one day to get these done. So not all of them are amazing. They're not landmark cards that you're going to remember for life. But hopefully they're ones that you can take ideas from and then you can run with that however you wish to. And one of the things I do quite like doing is doing quite simple cards. So this is one of the ones that I've done. So as we can see, we've got our backing paper in the background. We have got our lovely striplet die used on the front here. And then, of course, backed with more paper from our Touch of Romance paper pad. 
Down the bottom here, I've used one of my pierced sentiment backing plates and I've bought in one of my brand new sentiments to go on the top of it. And I've cut that out of the matching colour paper from the paper pad as well. So again, just toning that together. I'm going to add the sentiments into this hand-picked by album um, and the backing plates from the pierced collection because you're going to get to see a lot of these yo-yoing throughout. And both of these have currently got 15% off in that album um, all of the sentiment collection and the pierced backgrounds as well so you might want to check those out as well if that's something you're liking the look of that of course was the good luck one moving on to our next card now this i think is really clever and it's you know it's not me to be honest with you but it's the die it's the herringbone die now i mentioned that we can cut this twice and we can layer it and i did that first of all in white which is what i'm going to be doing for our demo card and then i looked at it again and i was like hang on a minute if we did that out of that beautiful cinnamon cardstock that we have got from foundations on our website on offer for november then it would look like a lovely trellis for our flowers to be growing up. Maybe even a touch oriental. So I've bought in our poppy flower. I've bought in our button flower for the foliage. Both, again, on offer on the section of the hand-picked by for November. So if you like the look of the flower, you like the look of the foliage, you can get hold of them on there. And I've just layered them going around it. I've added on my granddad sentiment down the bottom here. Again, cut from the matching paper from the flowers. Paper behind it and the paper behind the lattice. Again, all out of that paper pad. So all of the colour, except the cinnamon, is coming from that paper pad. So you know it's all going to coordinate. Then on to our next card. So I mentioned that we could take that lovely octagon die and actually cut it into our card. It can stay there. It will stay in your card blank. So that's exactly what I've done for this one. I've cut this in on the side here. I've used some of the papers out of the paper pad. I've used our lovely birthday frame. I've added the birthday wording on some vellum, which is something we're going to be doing in our demo that we're going to do for you today as well. And we've just layered that all together. Again, hopefully very quick, simple and easy. On the inside, matching paper so that we can see that through that lovely sort of fretwork die. So again, easy to work with. Moving on, we're going to use the butterfly. Butterfly, where have I gone? birthday frame this time i've colored it in just with some watercolor pencils so i've cut it out of white card sock colored it all in with some watercolor pencils done a bit of painting here and there traced in the word with just an ordinary hb pen and the swirls on the cake and then i've layered it onto the layering die that comes with it don't forget we've got that two stage effect we've got that backing plate that's in with your die and then we have that frame die so if you'd like to layer them like this one you can absolutely do that Behind, obviously, we've got the herring, herringbone die set. And again, just so you can see, very easy for you to match that up and continue that pattern on. So just one piece of card, no hidden join, just recut from the same die, moving it up the cardstock to give me a much larger background. Again, meaning that it's down to the limitation of the size of your machine to how big a background you're going to be able to marry up and cut with that die. So it just gives you that little bit more freedom, a little bit more play with them. Then we'll move on. This one again, quite a simple one, nothing complicated. One day, remember, don't have a lot of time at the moment. So this one, Paris stamp used on the front, just heat embossed in gold. And then behind that herringbone background, and this time I've sort of layered it. So you've got it in white, you've got it in gold, and you've got it in black. And I've just layered it three times to give that little effect. Really fun to do, really easy to do, and as you can see, could be used in many different tones to make up many different backgrounds. Just heading for a little bit of luxury was my sort of aim of that one. This is the card I'm actually going to demo for you today. Oh, come back, just bent my little candle, a bit vigorous there. So this one, again, we're going to use the background. We're going to use it as a lattice instead, and I'll show you how to do that. We're also going to use the frame. We're going to use the birthday wording on some vellum, and of course, we're going to use the paper from in our little booklet. And we'll come to that shortly so I can show you how that one goes together. Another simple card. And again, men's cards are really important at the moment, aren't they? We shared a lovely card or I did on my Facebook page just the other day. And it had on it a Hawaiian shirt dye. Uh, but instead I'd done it in white and black and done some monochrome backgrounds. And it was all showing you how you could use the little words for my sentiments collection. And most of the comments were about that shirt and about how men's cards are important and how it's hard to find ideas for them. Well, again, I think this collection will hopefully help lead you in that direction. This time we've just gone for them same striplets 
in the background there, the ornate octagons, layered with the paper from in the paper pad, behind that more paper from in the paper pad, little like belly bar as such going across the card here, with just the word birthday on from that, of course, birthday party frame. I think you could quite easily put the birthday on the outside, and then put wishes or more on the inside possibly to lend to it, or maybe have the other part on your tag, or of course add it on here if you would like to. But I'd like the font of that birthday and felt that looked quite swishy to have that on that sort of bar going across the middle. Then we're going to go back to our Paris stamp for our next one. So this time again, heat embossed my Paris wording and then I've put it into this frame and I've used some vellum that you'll also find on our offer page for the handpicked by for November. And this time I've put the vellum over the top and I've just cut out the middle using one of the sentiment backing plates from my pierced collection so you've sort of got that sneaky look at the word paris but then behind it we've also got the herringbone background and again you can see that's larger than the die so i've just double cut it to make that effect and it sort of gives that screen style around the edge i've used one of our noble dies to also frame it and just add it on a piece of ribbon very simple, very elegant, but hopefully quite effective. And I like that sort of two-tone effect that we're getting by having that peekaboo window that's going on in that one. On to our next one, our penultimate card I'm going to share with you. This one, again, background papers from the pad. We then have another one of my little sentiment backings just cut down. Another one of my new words on the top here. And then again, that octagon... Um, panel going down but this time i've die cut it and i'm doing a lot of this at the moment i'm taking my die cuts and then i'm triple embossing them with an embossing powder this time the gold but it just gives them a more rounded effect and gives them quite a metal looking embellishment style so if you haven't tried that before it might be something you'd like to do sadly the gold embossing powder is currently out of stock at the time that we filmed this it's been out of stock for a while but like anything if you ever go on our website and an item is out of stock you can go through on it you can then um add in like a little box your email address and you'll get an email the second it comes back in stock so if you need gold embossing powder and this is a technique you want to try just hop on there put it into the notification box and then somehow the computer wizardry does it instantly the minute we put it back in stock you'll receive an email to tell you that it's back in stock and you can come and buy it but that's just embossing powder part of there doesn't have to be gold could be many other colors but it gives you again hopefully quite a luxurious finish then for our last card, so I love these. I've, I've re, sort of, I've been refrained slightly from my scalloped cards. I've done a lot of scalloped cards recently, but I've gone for one in this collection. So this is an eight by eight scalloped card. And this time I've gone for my Paris wording. Again, I've heat embossed that. Behind it, we've gone for, of course, the papers from the paper pads. I really like how this ornate design works so beautifully with that stripe design. And then of course we can bring in some just mar marrying in, um, antique gold card stock which is one of our pearl card stocks which i've then put for my layers underneath all of the pieces same again down here with the uh, sentiment we've got one of the new sentiments from my collection and then again one of the backing plates from the pierced collection just showing you how they can work together as well for you and that actually completes all of the different cards that i wanted to share with you today so there's 10 hopefully good ideas ish that you can work with to hopefully inspire you slightly and then of course the one i'm actually going to demo for you now as well so if we can i'd like to think we'd give you a bit of help a bit of an idea of what you're going to do with this but it's such a lovely bundle and i always say this but i only have one day to create with these and I, the, the time was ticking and i was like i want to do more i've got so many more ideas i wanted to bring in i never got to cut this at this background i really wanted to cut this in sort of multiple panels make up big backgrounds i also wanted to paper piece this these are quite big areas i wanted to paper piece it i wanted to put glitter through it as well this herringbone one i really like the idea of doing that in black and then turning it into the tire tracks like i spoke to you about and then putting a car die cut or a motorbike on there or maybe doing it in sort of muddy colors and then putting like a dirt bike on there had lots of ideas for that the birthday frame i also i wanted to sort of take out the birthday cover up the word happy and then just make it a celebration maybe it's a new home maybe it's retirement maybe it's a new baby you could add in all of them bits to the middle the paris one i never really got to cut that about as i'd like to and then the papers there were just so many things you could do with the papers i've only used just a few sheets out of my paper pad i'd really like chance to go back and do more with that so watch this space i might get time um but hopefully not only are these about my ideas, they're about your ideas too. Because I mentioned earlier how I would really like you to enter that competition to win the December bundle completely 
completely free. One lucky winner will get the December bundle free of charge. All you've got to do is um, just share with us on our closed Facebook group one at least, but you can share as many as you like. More you'll share, more you'll get entered of your creations used with this bundle. And then we'll pick one lucky winner um, for the December video and I'll announce it on the December video. But as I say, free worldwide PMP included with that prize. So then, let's get on with our card, shall we? This is the one that we're going to play with. This is the one that we're going to make today. So I've already gone ahead and I've done my die cutting because I think by now you've seen me go through for a machine enough times. You probably don't really need to see that or want to see that anymore. Um, so what I've done is I've got on that head, I've got my herringbone background and I've cut this out. Now, one of the bits I would mention with this, and I think this is quite a nice touch actually, is because it doesn't have an outside cutting blade attached to the die, if you do already have something like this one, this is one of the pierced rectangle noble dies. Again, you'll find these on our website. We do several different layering dies, different brands as well. So it might not even be one of Sue's that you want to go for, but different rectangle dies. You can, of course, put your herringbone background into that die and send it through. Now, I've got a slightly smaller gap at the top and the bottom than I have on the sides. That doesn't overly bother me. Um, if it did, then you could, of course, choose a slightly different sized die uh, if you don't want to put a die around it and that is something that bothers you you can of course trim it out on a trimmer or a guillotine or you could of course do something with my in and out dies instead and just pick the sides of it you can play around lots and lots of options but once we have this bit this is where the fun comes in in actually layering it so i'm just going to add some glue onto my hand now you can do this with a sponge if you prefer if you don't like putting glue on your skin or you could use a, a glue stick if you prefer but i'm just going to put the glue out on my hand and i'm going to start padding through this to pick that up on the back of this mesh now i don't have to be too exact because i've already got one of these done but i just wanted to share with you how i did mine so you can see what i've been up to I'm then going to go around the edge of the frame so that we've got a nice strong bond around the edges. And then I'm going to bring in the original and we're going to check that we're the right way up. So here we are. That's perfect. So that would be the right way, obviously. That's going to match exactly the same. And you can drop that down. So if you wanted to do that in different colours and drop it down like so, or even maybe the same colour, you could, that would create a different effect. If you wanted to pad it so there was height between them, that would work. But for this card, I'm going to twist it around and I'm going to place that on. Going down them central lines, just so that we have that lovely lattice effect. Now, if you've cut your dice slightly out and you've got a bit of an edge to it, I've got a slight edge on the side here. We can always trim that off. No one's going to see that. They're only going to see the one on the front here. That's the one that matters. That top level is the bit that we're going to see. I've already done mine and I've jumped ahead and I've added some tape to the reverse of it so that I've got it ready to work with. But that one is dry, it's all set, it's ready to go. Now again, if we turn it that way, so we've got it sort of as a horizontal, I think it looks a bit like um, fence panelling. If we go for this way, it just reminds me more of like a, an ordinary lattice garden sort of panel that you could grow your flowers up. It's up to you. It doesn't even have to be either of these things. It's just a good background die for you to play around with. So we'll go on to our card. We're going to take some silver card first of all. This is just our silver mirror card. Again, look for this to be on offer on the November section. Comes in lovely big packs, this does. So it'll be quite a nice saving on that if you'd like some silver mirror card. We're then going to go in with one of our papers. So this is one of the papers out of that lovely paper pad that we had a look through. So I'll pop some glue onto the reverse of this. Again, just using my Dry's Clear Cosmic Shimmer Glue. Today I'm using a, a 60ml bottle, sorry. And you can see it's one I've refilled many times. I love this bottle, so I tend to go back to it time and time again. Uh, so I've just refilled that one ready so I can use it out of the bigger bottles. We carry all the different sizes at Craft Mania of the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. I was also going to bring for a roll of this to share with you, actually. This is our 3mm wide foam tape that we also carry from Woodware. And we'll put this on the offer page as well on the website so that you can see it. It is on offer, um, but it's 3mm by 3mm, so it's quite a nice height, but it's quite thin. It just saves you cutting down your foam tape to go onto the back of things like thin frames and bits like that. It saves me a lot of time. So I'm going to place this one on here in the middle so we've got that nice pink shining through underneath it i'm then going to go in for my die cut now this is the birthday frame die cut now i've already layered mine and i've got it cut out i just wanted to share with you i do a technique which i 
refer to as engraving. It's basically putting two pieces of mirror card together, or two pieces of any card, depending on thickness and die, and sending it through your machine. What that means is your top one will cut out absolutely perfectly fine, but your second one will probably stay like this one quite nicely in your cardstock. And it just means you've engraved that effect. And I really like this frame engraved. And I felt that it could very easily then be added on some flowers. You could then cut that birthday word in and layer that on the top there quite nicely, maybe in a different colour to coordinate with your flowers. But that's going to fit in there nice and easily if that's something you would like to do. So then we're actually, I was going for my frame. I forgot my word birthday. So we're going to use this one and we're going to tuck this round. So I've already bought this in and I've gone off the tangent a little bit, but it don't matter. It's fine. We can hide anything. So I've got my word birthday and I've cut a piece of vellum. We mentioned vellum earlier, didn't we? So I've cut the word birthday and I'm just going to stick that down onto the vellum like so. And that will give me this style of banner. And I'm going to use this to go across my card. And I'm going to tuck these bits onto the inside of the card so I can see roughly where I want that to be. I'm going to place that down and we're going to give that a bit of a squidge round there. You can hide these in your layers if you would prefer. But for me, I'm going to tuck them round. I'm going to check that that's where I want them to be before I glue it in place. And then we'll glue them on the inside in just a second. I'm then going to bring in my frame that I've got. And I've added some foam pads onto the reverse of this already. And taken off all my lids. And we're going to place that down just on the top here. I might actually, this is why I didn't want to glue it just yet. We'll slide that up just a little bit. And then we're going to place that over the top there so that that matches in. Now the foam pads on the frame are going to hold that nicely so I can open this to the inside. I can then put a screen or a panel on the inside here just to hide these bits and then nobody will see my vellum or my glue that's attached around there. But it's quite a subtle finish on there if that's something you don't mind people seeing. And you will see that completes our card. On my very finished card, on my original sample as such, I've just added a few pearls or gems to the corners to finish it. But hopefully that will give you an idea of how you could work and create with that set and gives you a bit of an inspiration. So just to recap, let's run through your bundle one last time, just in case you're on the fence or might have forgot something that's in there. Let's show you just again what you're going to receive for your £30. So don't forget, this should be £67.73p. And for your £30, you are going to get your striplet die, which of course is designed by Sue Wilson. You are going to receive your lovely Paris stamp, designed by Francois Reed, released under the Woodware branding. You are going to receive your birthday frame die, from Sue Wilson as well, the one we just used. You are also going to receive your herringbone background, the one that we were just looking at. You're also going to receive your piece of mesh that you can cut up and use as individuals or stick to using it as a background as it is, or use it as single gems. And then on top of that, you're going to get this beautiful paper pad. This paper pad alone, at recommended retail price for this, is $10.99. And you can see why. 48 sheets of really lovely quality paper. It's 160 GSM, by the way, just in case it's something you'd like to know. And you're going to get that in your bundle as well. So your bundle should be £67.73p. Yours for just £30, including free UK PMP. So hopefully you'll agree that's a bargain and one that you'd like to unwrap this Christmas. So don't forget to tag Father Christmas and get them to buy this bundle for you. These are released at midnight, obviously, on the 1st of November. We will do our very best to keep them in stock all the way through November. But truthfully, that is a battle we haven't been winning. So if you like the look of this one, don't hang about. Get it ordered as soon as you can. Um, I don't want you to miss out. And don't forget to share with us your creations on our group, of course, which is Create with Craft Mania and Jamie Rogers on Facebook. It's a closed group, so you will have to ask permission to come in. We do that so when you share your work with us, nobody outside the group can see. So if you've made a card for an auntie, an uncle, a brother, a sister, doesn't matter who, and you share it in our group, they're not going to see it unless they're part of our group. It also just means that we can keep to all of the rules, make sure everyone's super friendly, super enthusiastic, and of course it means that we can share more ideas openly. So don't forget, share your creation with this bundle, use the hashtag November and of course follow the group rules to be entered in with a chance to win December's bundle completely free of charge, including UK PMP free. Or worldwide PMP free. Ooh, lost my words now. It was going so well. Free PMP worldwide. 
Now, don't forget, PMP in the UK is capped at just five pounds when you spend five pounds on the website. Above that, it is completely free, so your bundle will be free. If you live internationally, we can send the bundle to you anywhere in the world. Just check out how that works on the website. You can order online. It's www.craftmaniacrafts.com. When you're looking for the product from this bundle, if there isn't a link above or below, depending on where you're watching the video that you can click on, then do just head on to our website. And it's up to you. You can go to the little TV screen and the As Seen on TV, and there will be a page dedicated on the 1st of November for today. Or you can go across the menu bar to the one that says handpicked by and you can click that and it will open up and show you november's bundle the choice is yours not only can you order online you can also order by phone as well our phone lines are open from 9 a.m to 7 p.m monday or seven days a week actually uh, so 9 a.m 7 p.m seven days a week and you can give daphne a call on 01493 843 666 and she will happily help you process your order Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you all again for December. And more importantly, I can't wait to see what you make with this bundle. Please get sharing and good luck to all of you that enter. And I will see you again in December, if not before. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.